G'day fellas, Confused Seagull32 here, back with another episode of the Ultra Rebuild. We are getting scarily close to completely finishing the Ultra Rebuild. Now, keep in mind as well, I have never gone the full 60 years without, you know, finishing the Dynasty before. I can see that the interest for this series isn't as dominant as it once was, and that's okay. We still have the brand new series coming, maybe in like a week or two. We really have nothing else to do until the Prestige Dynasty is ready to start. I'm thinking our big week is just going to be, I kind of want it to be early. Let's do Texas State. I did not mean to put them on the schedule. That's where it all started, this whole journey. Unfortunately, yeah, there's not really a lot I can do. There are some chances at some insta commits here, which would be nice. There we go. Patrick Wright. That works out perfectly. This is a five-star quarterback I figured we'd get for the future, you know? But more importantly, we kind of really got to get into low lock cheese here just before it's too late. So we will be going in, what, week five? Because week four is the visitation week, blah, blah, blah. You get it. First game of the season, going to be a massive win. I don't exactly know what the team looks like. It has been a minute since I've recorded this. I have to actually see if everything checks out. Might as well go ahead and offer the scholarships now as well. If I haven't got an insta commit yet, then I'm probably not going to. Another five-star quarterback. Wait a second, I already had a five-star quarterback on the board. Does that seem a bit overkill, maybe? All right, let's see how good this quarterback is. 79, but he has 96 throw power. There is no comparison. It just has to be Albert Matthews here. I can scout one player. I don't know who it's going to be. Let's go this athlete. 79, he's another quarterback. Wow, great quarterback at that. Pretty sure our quarterback is kind of disgusting. I think it's a sophomore. Oh, no, it's just Eric Johnson Sr. Okay, so we don't have a quarterback for next year. Unless he's redshirt. Oh, we absolutely do. Adrian Henry, but he's being redshirt this year. And we also have Antonio Turner. Okay, so we don't need any of those five-star quarterbacks. Like, at all. Oh, <laughs> 63-0 against our former team. There goes Nicholas Brown, Nate Barrett, Tony Porter. Yes, sir. That's basically our entire class right there sealed up. Telling you, man, Lolok Cheese has been super dead lately. I think that might be directly correlated to how bad some of the teams are. Because if we go and look real quick, most of the teams in and around conferences are not very good. Look, Cincinnati is 74. UCF is 72. When have you ever seen these teams is bad? Same for the other side of the Big 12. Not a single team over 80. Why is that? Taking a trip to the SEC, LSU is an 86. Georgia is a 90, and they're the best team. Bam is 81. We might have to go to Kentucky, like, and turn this around. That might be our actual last team is Kentucky. So even though our team is, what, barely a 99? I mean, they are 99, but the rest of the teams in this league are so bad, it's ridiculous. I know I said we were going to stick around in Baylor. There is legitimately no point. Like, there's actually no point. The more confusing part is that we're dropping down here somehow. Army is 88. They're a six-star. Wow. Like, I really want to go to one of these 70 overalls. Yeah, I think we are going to leave this year because if we stay at Baylor, we're just going to win every year. That is by far the most points we've conceded, and it's only 21. Okay, so we just signed up a mega amount of people. There's only four people left on the board in total. Because we are deciding to leave, I've already got 14 really, really good players. I'm just going to let the computer take over here. Let's get to the new team because this is definitely going to be a natty. Look at that, 65-0. The best team that we've seen is 90 overall Georgia. Coverage championship is against Texas Tech. They're C's across the board. 74 overall. Uh, the worst part is somehow we are all the way down in fifth, bro. Fifth! So we have to do an 18 playoff, but I'm definitely not playing all of the games. So it's going to be us versus 13 and 0 Southern Miss. Why does the team uh, always struggle so much in the simulation? I don't understand, like in the quick sim. If we would have versus Southern Miss during the regular season, we would have beat them 100-0. Okay, now it kind of looks like we're waking up a bit here. 33-0, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to versus Penn State, Oklahoma versus LSU. North Carolina lost to LSU as well. Simulate this and dominate. Oh, look how bad they are. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There we go. First down. Okay, that's the first team that scored on us in the postseason. They've scored twice. Remember, the most amount of points we let up this entire season was 21. Wow, look at our average just skyrocket. They tied it up. Well, they missed their PAT, so they didn't tie it up. We've got to just run this out and be done with it, mate. But okay, here we go, I guess, for fun. Was that even that difficult? Um, yeah, we really let these trash cans score 34 points on us. And it is going to be us versus Oklahoma, our other former team. We did say that Oklahoma was basically our biggest rivalry game now. No way, am I going to do it? The first kick return touchdown is going to be in the natty, though. Bauer, well-deserved. 
Haven't gotten one yet. Man, Oklahoma is not making this easy. In fact, we're going to punt it back to him. Okay, maybe I gotta take this a bit more serious. Man, damn, they're going crazy right now. And they're calling man coverage. Embarrassing. Step back, cheese. Day! Oh, he almost... Oh, that's a pick. I didn't... Jeez, man, can, can my eyes work today, please? That would be good. Throwing the game for fun. This also 100% confirms it, by the way, that in the playoff mod, they have to make it harder. Because we did not concede more than 21 points the entire season. In the last two games, we've conceded 35 against Penn State and then 21 in the first half alone against Oklahoma. They love their man coverage. Look at Carter take off. Damn, down the side. He's just in. Wow. You see how many times we went four, three and out just in? See how easy it was to score a touchdown? I am committed to getting Bauer a couple touchdowns here though. 395 total yards for Oklahoma. They really have been fighting today. Get that block. Don't even need it, Bauer. I'm gonna have to cut in on 84. No, I don't. The 84 is just not fast enough. Heisman pose. Oh, peak that went different. Our defense is so freaking fast, by the way. The guy did the exact same thing. He just ran into everybody. Sacked. Okay. All right, here we go. Fourth and 18. This is for the national championship. It's crazy that we got to verse Oklahoma in the natty. Screenplay. Really? That's what they're going with? No way. This also makes us two and one against these guys. Oh. What a catch! We have seen that exact animation how many times now, man? Congratulations to GJ. You are a... Is that our 10th national title right there? That's not too bad. That was back-to-back -back right there. Kind of do want to run it back because it's very rare that you get to win three in a row. That would mean we won three in a row at Oklahoma, North Carolina, and Baylor. Actually, you know what? We are going to go one more season with Baylor because it lets you guys choose what team we should go to or at least aim to go to. We're going to simulate one last season with Baylor, hopefully win a national championship, our third in a row, three in a row again. That was our 10th national championship right there. First rounder, how many first rounders is that? 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 first rounders. Loading up, fellas. We're in the hyperbolic time chamber. Oh, both of our coordinators left. You see that? Wow, so the upgrades were not that crazy at all, though I am seeing a lot of plus sixes. Bro, we recruited Tim Herring as an 82 overall freshman. He is now an 86 overall senior. Like, he does not work out in the offseason at all. Tim Herring is just not that guy. So our offense took a really big hit. Wow, we fell off that. App State is as good as an FCS team, but we're only 93. So we're 93, 84, 86, 83, 88. Ohio State's 91, if that means anything. Georgia is the only team over 90. They have a 99 offense. Hopefully, we just don't have Georgia on the schedule, and we should be good. We seem to be getting some pretty dominant wins here against some decent teams. Oklahoma State is 3-1. However, they have a C-plus offense. We lost to UCF. Wow, that is an eye-opener. They were 70 overall. How did we lose? So we are versing Arizona in the conference championship. We are ranked 7, man, which is a bit sketch. It's going to be a big win. So we're going to be taking on Georgia, who we know is the best team in college football. All right, let's get a home even though you have pretty bad agility just take it to the crib this is the best team we're gonna have to first just get around step back cheese ah okay just a 68 yard touchdown reception i guess that's cool let's finish it here boys four minutes left if we score we probably just win the game get rid of that play action it's our new quarterback in as well can i throw that missile i'm looking like patty mahomes out there Bam, right in. Uh, our running back is wearing number 47, which makes me visibly uncomfortable. We're going to win the next game without a doubt, so let's just uh, go to the natty. All right, so we're going to be taking on Washington. So we just jumped in in the fourth quarter. It is currently 42-0. to zero. Uh, Washington just isn't very good. They're just blitzing. They're going all out, bro. They've given up. That's a missile herring. The guy who's gone up three overall in four years. Oh, this is the backup, Adrian Henry. Oh, we've got the backups in. My last game at Baylor should be a, a 50-0 blowout. What is this? I didn't call this. Uh-oh, this isn't good. I need somebody to cut or go up. Gonna have to take off myself with the backup. Wow, okay, the pressure got there. Get some extra blocking. 
I mean, it was double coverage, whatever. 15 seconds left. Get out there. Bauer, the other Bauer. That's 11 national titles now for GG. That's three teams that we've gone three in a row with as well. What conference should we go to more importantly? Should it be Power 5? Should it be non-Power 5? It pretty much has to be a one-star school at this stage. I wish there was an easier way to show you guys, but there's a lot of two-star schools. Kansas is a great example. Utah went 1-11. A lot of really bad teams in the SEC here as well. Kentucky is one-star in 70. That coach is going to get fired for sure. They're probably my main options. But if you made it this far in the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And for me personally, I'm out. Peace.